we are starting our brand new unit, unit five. So this is unit five, lesson one. Uh, before we get into it, we're going to read our goal, and I can calculate. Everybody read it with me at, ready? I can calculate the area and perimeter of different shapes. So you're going to see this looks kind of similar to our last goal, uh, or our last lesson, um, seven, nine, because um, it was a really similar goal. And like I kept on saying, um, when we got to unit five, we were going to be getting to explore more about area and perimeter. And so um, typically, um, like the way the whole math curriculum is laid out, you would would have done five first in unit that lesson seven, nine would have been more of a review. Um, but uh, all of the teachers in Eden Prairie, um, we kind of changed up the order of things. Um, but so now we get to go do more of like a big deep dive into area and perimeter. Going to just review a few of these vocabulary words. Remember that calculate means total. Um, so some so if you're going to do perimeter, you're going to be adding up all of the sides. Doing area, we're going to be multiplying length times width. Um, for that for that formula, you know area equals length times oops, times width. So um, we're going to get to do that for the calculations, and we're going to be finding that area and perimeter. Um, now, remember that area is the amount of space inside something. So, up there. Uh, and perimeter, right there, is the distance around something. So, I have this uh, little rectangle over here. And I always think, I, you know, I've, I said it both back in Lesson 7, 9. Um, so, I think about perimeter is kind of like a fence. So, if I'm thinking about like a pool, like a pool at the park that Carol loves to go to, um, we have a fence um, that protects, you know, from any, anybody from getting into the pool, especially maybe like little kids who might not know how to swim very well yet. So, so just the perimeter is that fence, that distance around. And the pool then is all that, all that space inside. That's the area inside. And so what we're going to be doing today is exploring how do you calculate, how do you figure out what a perimeter is and what the area is using a few different tools. Uh, now on, so now you're, if you recall, back to some of our all other lessons, we're going to be doing this um, kind of bit by bit. Um, so for the first part of this lesson, I'm actually just going to be doing a bunch of teaching and talking about some important concepts for perimeter and area. Um, and then that will lead us all the way up until the very first um, workbook page. Um, and then I'm going to be doing short videos for each workbook page so that then you can watch that video, do the workbook page, send it to Schoology, then you can watch the next video, get the next page off of Schoology, do it in Notability, send it back to Schoology, and just so we can um, do it, just do it in pieces. So to start though today, um, if I was teaching you this actually in class, we would be I would be having you do this. Now, if you want to, you could actually pull up Notability um, or explain everything, and you could do this with me if you want. You know, watch a little bit, pause, go to like explain everything or go to notability and just do like free draw. Um, but I, I'm going to be kind of doing it down below. So you can either just watch me do it or you can do it with me. It's totally up to you. Or you can even do this on, on Seesaw and then show me the, some of the things that you do. That I, If you did it on Seesaw, I'd be so excited because I get to see all the things that you were doing with this. You would make me super happy. Or you could, or you could still do it even on explain everything and then take a screenshot and put it on Seesaw too. But, um, what we're going to be starting with is we're going to draw a line segment by connecting two dots. This is one unit of length. So if you remember, a line segment has two endpoints and then a line that connects between. That is one unit of length. So this is going to be tying a lot back into our unit 7. Now I'm going to draw a vertical line that is three units long. So I'm going to... Do kind of the same thing. I'm going to be doing some connecting here, though. Uh, one, two, three. Then I'm going to draw one, two, three. Now you're going to notice, though, I had to do four dots to get one, two, three lines. Those are three units. Now, I can notice how one unit, one u unit length line segment used two dots, and a three units line long segment used four dots. And so we're going to be using that kind of, we're going to be using these dots and these lines to calculate perimeter and area. 
So I'm actually going to shorten this one up just a tad bit. And then I'm going to do the same thing going here. And then I'm going to connect this bottom part. Then I'm actually going to connect all of this. Now I can use this picture. I'll just keep it right there. I can use this picture to help me figure out the area and the perimeter of it. So I'm going to just write P for perimeter over here and A for area. I'm going to start with perimeter. Now, perimeter, um, I can measure it to and then add up all the sides. When I have lines like this, I can actually also count it too. I'm going to count, just show you one way to do this. And what, what I'm going to keep saying to you whenever you're counting perimeter is you're going to always want to put little dots or just little marks there to remind yourself, yep, I already counted that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my perimeter is eight units, and let's just say it's eight inches. Uh, I'll change that. I'm going to say centimeters, eight centimeters. Now, you may be thinking, well, hey, hey, Mr. Johnson, why did you, like, why did you do, like, this line and this line? Because you already, you already had a line there. What I want you to think about um, with perimeter, it's really like a fence. So, if I was making a fence, these would all be like my pieces of wood. If I didn't have a piece of wood in all those spots, my fence would have a hole in it. And, um, you know, if I had a pet, like a dog, I would not want my dog to escape out of my fence. So I need to make sure I have a piece of wood in each of those spots there. So there are no gaps, no holes for the dog to get out. So that's why I have to count each of those boards, pieces of wood, or all those unit lengths or those sides. Now that's how I do area. I could have also done it since this, since I already knew that this is three, I can write three right here. Now if I know this side is three, thinking back to unit seven, that means this side is going to be three. And this one has just one. So if the top is one, that means the bottom is also gonna be one. And so then I could add up three plus three is six. One plus one is two. So, I can actually I can do it like this way too. Three plus three plus one plus one equals three plus three is six. Plus, and one plus one is two. So six plus two is eight. Yep, that's the same down there. Now area, when you have something like this, two different ways you can do it. One way is just to count the squares because Remember that area is square units. And so when I think back to like this pool, um, basically what you're going to imagine is, is that you had like these squares and that's how you're going to kind of measure how much space it takes up inside. Like how many squares could you fit in there? And so for this, let's say this is um, a tiny little baby mini pool. It's three square units. And I would, same thing as I did when I was measuring perimeter, drawing those little lines. I'm going to put a dot in each one of these just so I make sure I remember to count them. One, two, three. So it's three square. And I know it's centimeters, so I can write three centimeters. I can also use that formula where, I'm gonna get rid of this stuff up here, because I need some more space, um, where area equals length times the width, which we were doing in unit seven. So that's just one of the sides, just one length, three times one width. So three times one equals three. And look at, yep, it matches. That's what we're gonna be doing when we're doing area and perimeter. So if you would like to just pause and practice any of that on Seesaw, or notability or explain everything, please go ahead. I would love to see any of those things.